Hello Leos, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of July 6th to the 12th. Okay, so we actually have two, three cards. I have the Nine of Wands upright, the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Hermit Reverse, the Lovers Reverse, the Knight of Cups, the Emperor, Judgment, Three of Wands, and let's see for the outcome. We have the Ace of Coins Reverse. I'm going to pull out two more. So with this deck, it is actually easier for me to just um, to read once all the cards are pulled out because the imagery are very like um, untraditional. So it's um, different from the Rider Waite deck, but I feel that once the cards are all pulled out, they there is a theme. There is always like a story that the cards are um, reiterating the like the same themes. Okay, so let's look at central to this spread. There is a nine of wands. And, um, okay, so this is, I always see this as the card for Leo's, mainly because of his hair. But um, this is somebody that's been through a lot. He's, um, you know, there are all these scars on him. So he's been through quite a, a, a battle. He's been through the ringer. And I do feel that this this person is you. At the heart of the matter, your heart chakra is open. You are able to move forward with like a lot more um, information, with enlightenment. And you are kind of like goal-oriented at this point. You know what you want and you know what to avoid, okay? What's preventing this situation from happening here is um, I do feel the Queen of Swords. For those of you who might be dealing with a, like an air sign, or somebody who is very like sharp tongue, sharp witted, but um, they can be quite hurtful with their words. Okay, so an air sign is an Aquarius, a Gemini, and a Libra. But you know, a lot of people are showing up in this spread. So I'm going to read this as somebody who is very, very witty, but um, who's very like um, who can cut with her words. So at this point, I feel that a lot of you too might have approached um, your life with a little bit more like a sense of direction first of all but also like less tolerance for bs is what i'm sensing here you know what you want you still have your you know your um your sense of humor you still enjoy life quite a bit despite all the blows that you've had to endure in the past but at the same time you're not going to be tolerant of people and you know their their bs and their their facade their their falseness okay so moving forward this is a really nice clean slate type of energy I do feel that in the past, too, with the Eight of Cups in the upright position, <clears throat> a lot of you might have like walked away from a situation in which you were very emotionally invested and you had no choice because it was just too damaging. It was just too hurtful to your pride and to your mental health. So you took like, it, this is not even a break, you know, like a mental health break or anything like that. This is a clean break to start your life all over again, okay? And you are also being supported by um, the universe to do this. Um, as for what's coming in here, we have the hermit. And the hermit is in the reverse position. So uh, what I'm getting here is that... Um, even though you walked away and you were triumphant about walking away and not looking back, a part of you still wonders about the other person. And, you know, that's that's only natural. A lot of you still wonder about, a lot of you might have uh, dealt with this in a love capacity, okay? Family, love, less work-related, I feel. Um, but it could also be, like, work where you're wondering about how you're, former co-workers are doing for example or you're wondering about you know whatever happened to that that um you know that situation whatever to happen to so and so you know in that previous situation i was involved in so a lot of you there was still like a little bit of um i also feel lack of closure as well okay so you don't have all the information you know it's not good for you, but you don't really know what really transpired, how things uh, dissolve or disintegrate it the way they did. So you're still curious. You're still curious about um, what exactly happened and if there was anything you can do to fix it, to prevent it from happening in the future with you know another situation that might have a similar theme. So you're still wondering at this point, and because of it, um, 
you're plagued by the past. Physically, you've moved on. Mentally, emotionally, I would say more so mentally, you're still plagued by the past because emotionally, at this point, you've moved on as well. And what's crowning you here is the lovers in the reverse position. So this is basically um, encountering new situations in which you... Um, in which you have to make a choice first of all it's it's in the reverse position so I do sense that you've already made a choice as to what you want to do a lot of you might have pre, um, preceded with like a new work situation where you might have to travel quite a bit for example and um, you're quite happy about it so this is like um, there is a potential as well for a situation from the past possibly with an air sign who's trying to reel you in and you're just like um you know fighting it okay so it's preventing you from starting things on the love front with a new person if that's something that you're dealing with on the love front i do feel it might be on the love front because of the cards and um in terms of okay so what's crowning you is the the lovers so there is somebody in your midst who you don't feel is relationship material okay for some reason, at this point, you have like an enlightened view of the world. You have more insights into your own, uh, into your own needs and what would satisfy you and things like that. So um, you're kind of moving forward and you're trying to like find emotional happiness. Okay, so you're like not trying to engage with this new potential love interest that's coming in, mainly because you're just like, well, we're too different. It'll never work. Okay, the uh, the new person could potentially be a water sign, which is a Cancer, a Pisces, or a uh, Scorpio, and uh, he or she is like really fascinated by you. They they look up to you. They admire you quite a bit because you have like a very um. You are a very wise soul, I, I'm sensing here. Because, you know, Nine of Wands is um, this card. Every time I see this card, it's like he has a tree in his uh, in his abdomen. So, like, it's, a, you know, like, he's, like, very spiritually evolved. So It's somebody who's very spiritually evolved. And I do feel I'm going to read this card as you because every time I see it, it's the hair that represents, you know, the epitome of Leo. But um, the heart chakra is open. He's got like a little golden halo on his head. He's enlightened. He's been through a lot. So he's collected a lot of life experiences which shape the person that he is right now. So somebody sees this in you. And because of it, they're very fascinated by you. And they feel like, you know, by their association with you, they're going to become wise as well. So it could potentially be a new water sign popping in for you. In terms of the advice here, and the advice is that um, honestly, other people's um, what other people do at this point will not have any bearing on you. So you can date whoever you want, and you know that uh, you know what you're about. So they're not going to influence you negatively. Okay, they're only going to drag themselves down. They're not going to drag you down. So don't be afraid about relationships. Don't be afraid about entering new relationships because you feel that you're going to get hurt. Um, especially don't be afraid to date people who are very different from you because you feel like ultimately it's not going to work out. Okay. So one of the main thing with this card I'm sensing here is, um, the most enjoyable things about experience, um, well about life experiences, but also relationships in general is that initial getting to know one another stage. Okay. And that's always like very exciting. So don't deprive yourself of that opportunity just because you're like projecting years ahead and you're just like, I'm not going to be in a relationship with you. So I don't really want you in my life. So don't um, deprive yourself of that opportunity. Okay. As for what's coming in from your external environment, we do have the judgment card in the um, reverse position. So this indicates to me that... Um, it can go to one of two ways, and the thing that I am getting here is um, you're going to be lured back in by people from the past, okay? And at this point, past energies, I would say always, you know, if it didn't work out, scrap them. But when I mean like give people a chance, it's old, uh, excuse me, it's new energies that you should always give um, them the benefit of the doubt. And especially if it's new potential love interest that might not strike you as, you know, relationship material, they might surprise you. So I feel that a new, not only, you know, 
are you looking for new experiences? I do feel that a new a new sense of like enjoyment in life is going to be in order for you. So you are being like reeled in by old people who haven't really like uh, moved on yet. So that's a challenge that you're going to have to cope with. But once again, go out with the old, in with the new. So always stick with the new things, okay? That's going to be more conducive for relationships anyways. So in terms of your hopes and fears here, I do have the three of wands, which is, you know, you are, a, there is hesitancy and there is fear associated with you trying to get this new beginning that you're hoping for, okay? The new beginning is not coming through mainly because you yourself are kind of like in a very jaded mode and you don't really, you're, you're not only commitment shy at this point, but you're kind of like, um, you're jaded. You, you feel like hurt and you feel very jaded. And especially when it comes to relationships, you feel like, okay, um, other people have disappointed me over and over again. So I'm just going to live my life like, you know, like I'm on an island, like I'm in my little bubble and I'm going to take care of myself and other people can, you know, um, take a hike. So the only thing is this is preventing you from engaging in meaningful interactions, social interactions. And as a Leo, I do feel that you need that in order to like feel feel very emotionally fulfilled. So new beginnings can't come in when you are like living like a hermit and you know you're kind of like keeping everybody at an arm's length. Okay, so once again, it's reiterating the same message with the hermit in that um, you can't really like extract yourself from unhealthy people because they keep trying to reel you in but at the same time there's that element of like um you know as a fire sign take a break take a break from dating take a break from relationships in general okay so that's good advice in general but when it comes to like new people new experiences if you feel that you are not adequately ready to date again only you can make this assessment about yourself. If you feel that you need more time to take a break in between dating people or in between, you know, life crises or, or things like that, take the break and give yourself that buffer between dating partners. Otherwise, the new relationship is going to falter. Or if you feel like, um, at this point, I know everything. Like, I've been through it all. I know everything. I do. If you have that um, type of mentality... I do sense that, you know, taking a, another break is going to be helpful for you because there are things that will take a long time to process and you want yourself to like be healed up. I feel like physically you're healed up, but like there might be some mental energies affecting your ability to move forward. So taking a time off to yourself and, you know, kind of like going off on a retreat or living like a bubble in a bubble would be helpful for you to heal the mental scars, okay? So the physical scars, you're, you're very tough, so you can overcome them. But the mental scars, possibly even emotional scars, a lot of you might be like uh, still reeling from that. So it would require much longer to heal. So give yourself the time, okay? In terms of the outcome here, I have the Ace of Coins in the reverse position. So um, there is going to be a little bit of, of a financial dip here. And at the same time, news concerning money, news concerning um, finances are what's stalling. You know, there are stalled communication, news, or financial windfall or financial payout. That's depriving you of the ability to, like, start this new venture in your life, this new adventure, okay? It can be related to travel. It can be related to, like, property as well. You're hoping for a nice, clean break and, like, a new start. And you feel like you've worked really hard and this financial windfall has to come your way because you deserve it. And I don't, I wouldn't argue, you, you worked really hard and that's why you're so like scarred and you're so like, um, you know, physically it feels like you went through the ringer. So this financial situation is being stalled and you can't get a clean break from it. And um, the advice here is that you really have to um, stand your ground and defend yourself, okay? This is like speaking up for the things that people owe you, speaking up for yourself, speaking up for, um, you know, it's kind of like that last leg of the journey. You feel like very depleted and you feel tired, but I do sense that speaking up, claiming your domain, and especially like um, 
you know, um, letting people see how adamant you are about getting the outcome that you want, that alone will intimidate your opponents and will bring about the success that you're hoping for, okay? So I do feel this financial situation itself is going to be stalled until you take that, um, I would say, you know, you have always been proactive being a fire sign, but this is like stepping up the game just a little bit more. And I do feel like the same energy for, for Aries. So a lot of you might have to be um, more vocal about this, okay? More vocal than you already are, but my God, I think that... Um, it's required here because you're dealing with like an opposing sign, opposing element and energy. So they're going to, first of all, try to swind you, swindle you or try to manipulate you. So be careful. And um, for the outcome here, I also have the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is like um, institutions. So I'm, I'm, se I'm sensing a lot of you might be like a contractor for example and you're waiting you know you you have this uh, government contract you did the work and now you're waiting for funding so if that's the situation it is a government type of work it is going to take quite some time between you know the the completion of the job and the disbursement of the funding so at the same time you know demand for it follow up contact them follow up on this situation but at the same time just know that a little bit of a delay is actually good to keep you a little bit more grounded and in place for the time being okay so I hope you have a wonderful week let me know how this plays out for you and please um, I would say like as a fire sign I wish I could say like be patient but in this situation you're dealing with people who might try to renege on their promises so um, call them and follow up and find out why this money situation is delayed. And I do feel that um, hopefully for next week it will clear up for you. But I do feel for this week there is stalled information. And um, there's stalled communication. There is like a stalled energy. And which leads me to believe that it's telling you to take it easy. And to be patient. But at the same time take some time off to heal whatever you know emotional mental uh, wounds that you might have. Okay, so take care of yourself, Leos. I will see you next week. Have a great weekend.